Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Guys, I have some tips and tricks to drop for you. A little weekend sneak peek into what I am doing different. So it's been tried, it works, and you do get to compete with uh, people a little bit higher than you, but it is what it is. You're not always gonna get first place, but at least you want to secure as high as you can. So I tell you a little bit of a strategy. I was at about 3,500. I was able to push and what I was doing is I started upgrading all my monuments up to a certain level, which is, uh, as you can tell, it's about 17K. Prior to this, I got it flat at 16, upgraded all of the one, sort of one-off uh, situations. Say for example, this, the Emblems of Worlds, and you can only upgrade it once out of like 40. So I did that and I did it for all the other three that I have here as well. And it does a significant amount of damage as the item gets uh, to the latest stage of the game. So I'm maxing it out. So every time we get a new monument or we get any new monument, uh, what do you call that? Blah, blah, blah. Where is it, bad boy? Uh, so mementos, right? So the more mementos I get, the stronger I get. So tip and trick. Save up, save up, save up. So when you join and the guy was beating me and he was at about 3,500 and something. I was at 3, 000, sorry, 350,000. He was at about 350,000. We started pushing each other to 356, 350 something. And mate, he started to shot up to 360. Next minute, he's at about 370. So for me, instead of trying to keep trying to compete with him over and over and over again, I started to farm like crazy. I think I did about 40 to 50 prestigious and I was able to discover a new monument. As I discovered a new monument, I shot up real quick and that was in the last hour or two, which means if he did not do the same thing, he is not gonna be able to catch up to me, which I did so. And the guy at number one, Drianna, tried to stay at about 380,000 saw me coming at about 381,000, he saw me coming, he just shot up to 383 because he is probably on the same page as me, which is like you farm, you farm, you farm, you farm. Towards the last few hours, like two to three hours, get that monument and hit it like crazy. So hence, this is why I came second. If not, I would have been third. And coming third, it will make a huge difference when it comes to your, um, what do you call it, the mana mugs. My first place, I'm pretty sure it's about 330. Mine is 230, which is 100 less. And the next one down is 130, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. So that is how you get to win tournaments, guys. And tournaments will make a huge difference. It's just like an ETF, you know? You just sit there, let it wait, and let it just kind of build up, build up, build up. And it's going to build up your tournament stats. Honestly, probably not going to do a huge amount of difference, but there you go, mythical impact. This is where your tournament points go to if you haven't uh, found out about it. And so it just gives you a little bit more damage. And as you know, 318 will still always be better than 317, okay? So that is how you're gonna work at it. Obviously, there's a lot of factors within this game that changes. However, you need to get what you have to and just get every aspect of it rather than just focusing on one item, one, I one particular thing and so forth. You need to upgrade overall and then use certain strengths to push further. Which also brings me to the point where you have Forbidden Contracts, Terrifying Pact, um, and you also have Royal Contract, which is massive, right? So these are gonna make a huge difference in the long run. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. And as you do your tournaments, I hope you guys are winning well. And welcome to a new week, Monday, uh, Monday night is over here. We have public holiday in Australia today. So it's absolutely amazing to spend some time with family and friends. But for you guys around the world, it's probably just another Monday. However, guys, we look forward to a bit more tips and tricks on Wednesday, which is usually where it drops. But I thought I'd just show you what the results are when it comes to tournaments. So give it a go with the next tournament that's coming up. Hopefully that's going to help you out and get to your um, best position possible. And hopefully you don't get too many whales in front of you. And if you do, instead of trying to fight against it, beat them. Join him and beat them. And be that will that you have to be. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you for your support. I hope you like, it, like the video. If you do, drop a like, drop a subscribe. That will help me with my algorithm a lot. And I will keep pumping out all these videos. Regardless of whatever happens, you'll always see me post videos every week. At least four to five, if not six videos a week. 
Until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next tournament. Have a lovely start to the week, and I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.